Hello everybody, welcome back to another NASCAR diecast review and today we're going to be reviewing a really unique, interesting diecast that was made back in 2020. Um, and all together, overall 2020 was just a bizarre year for NASCAR because one of, you know, the C word, I'm not going to say it because YouTube is so insensitive or so sensitive when it comes to it, or maybe even oversensitive. Two, Timmy Hill won an iRacing NASCAR televised event, which is it's still shocking. I can't believe he still won an iRacing event. I know he can do it, but like on live TV and like uh, NASCAR's biggest stage, the Cup Series and iRacing, that's just funny. Three, Daniel Suarez was with Gunt Brothers Racing. Um, number four, uh, what was the other or other couple things? You know, Watkins Glen and. Sonoma weren't on the schedule, number five. Um, a lot of teams, you know, shut down after 2020, like Levine Family Racing, Jermaine Racing, Go Fast Racing, Tommy Tommy Baldwin Racing, um, uh, and Premium Motorsports, to name a few from the Cup Series. I'm not going to go in, like, full detail of the Xfinity and Truck teams because I kind of forgot which teams. I can remember maybe a couple, but not, like, a lot. And... Of course, you know, uh, what's what I call it? Um, what else was bizarre from 2020? You know, Ryan Newman had the horrific crash Daytona where he missed a few races. And that was really sad to see, man. Him get wrecked right at the last moment of the 500. And the other and, um, and the other thing is Quinn Huff getting 13th at Talladega of all places. So that's so bizarre. But this is another thing that was really bizarre from 2020. You remember when Kyle Larson, you know... I'm not going to go full detail into it, buddy. Let's just say that, remember that iRacing event that Landon Castle started? And on there, he, you know, said the, the no-no word. And he got suspended indefinitely from NASCAR, Kyle Larson. And, and there was two drivers this team asked to drive the 42 car, either being, you know, Carl Edwards or Matt Kenseth. And so, I just give you the hint of the driver that we're reviewing in this diecast. It's a really cool diecast. And paint scheme. The diecast reviewing is going to be on Mac Kenseth's 2020 number 42 Credit One Bank Chevrolet Camaro for Chip Ganassi Racing. Yeah, that's a handful or that's a mouthful of words. Really, really outdated because one, Chip Ganassi Racing doesn't exist anymore in NASCAR. Two, Mac Kenseth is retired. Three, you know, Credit One Bank hasn't been on a NASCAR stock car since 2020. And yeah, it's just. And overall, yeah, that even the window banner is outdated too. But 2020, yeah, it was just a really bizarre year for Matt Kenseth to come right out of nowhere. He didn't even get any, you know, practice or qualifying because it was all delayed due to COVID. And, and you know, um, he basically dealt what, what he was able was give. He did what he could be able to do and he only got like one top five and two top tens in 2020, which... It sucks that he didn't have a great year, but I mean, Matt Kenseth was 48 years old. Like, he was like the oldest full-time cup driver in the field. He came out of nowhere. He hasn't made a start that time since 2018 with Roush. And this was like the first time, like 20-plus years at the time, that Matt Kenseth drove a Chevy. I believe like 20-plus, 20 22 years, I think. But let's go on to the paint scheme. You go on the windshield and you got um, the two Chevrolet Bowties Cup Series logo with the NASCAR logo right there. You got Credit One Bank with the swoosh. Looks really nice. This front end, this grill is a beast. You got the Chevrolet Bowtie. You got the headlights. Number 42, ZL1, Chip Ganassi Racing, um, Lincoln Electric, 3M, and Sunoco. And on Kyle Larson's die cast, um, yes, he actually got a die cast released from 2020 of this paint scheme. There's like some white right here, like... On the original car, there was some white on the car, but because when Matt Kenseth, Matt Kenseth drove, uh, took over, they made it all black. And I remember when I first saw this paint scheme on Eric Eastead's video being released, I was like, oh boy, I love this paint scheme. And man, the grill, holy crap. These Camaros in 2020, 2021 are absolute beasts in NASCAR. You got Goodyear. I love how it's that yellow font, a yellow Goodyear logo. That's really cool. I mean, look at the detail, like the, the light blue and black lines swishing across the car, um, like sharp angles, looks really cool. NASCAR, you got NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car, you got Simmons, um, Sherwin-Williams, I believe it says, it's not saying Mac Tools, I'm not sure, I don't know what the other logo says, 
Get number 42. You love, I love how there's like the black lines with some blue outlines to it. Looks really cool. Got Matt Kenseth's name on the name rail. Sienna or um, Sienna, uh, they, I don't know if they're still a NASCAR or not, but the last time, in 2021, they sponsored both Chip Ganassi Racing and Kyle Busch Motorsports in the Truck Series. You got Clover, who hasn't been a NASCAR since 2021. I'm not sure what that logo, other logo says on the B pillar. You got McDonald's logo right there. Yeah, back then when McDonald's could actually have die cast not on bases. I missed that time. You got Credit One Bank, or you got Credit One, the logo. You got the American Ethanol Ring. You got more lines going across, you know, the car. I like how the 42 has, like, a black outline to it. On the Kyle Larson car, like, up on the roof, there was no, there was no like, black outline. It was just a bright white 42 number. Looks really cool. And, of course, there would be the Monster Energy logo right up here, the top logo, but it's not there, unfortunately. Go on the other side of the car. Basically the same thing as on the other side as we got some, you know, quality issues. That's That was there when I first got it. But this came, like, from, you know, kind of bumping in other cars in this one as well. I had this car since 2020 or early 2021, late 2020. I got, like, Christmas for 2020, yeah. That's a lot of times. So that's a lot. I said that number, but... You go to the back end of the car. You got the Chevrolet bow tie. You got the rear TV-facing camera. Um, You got the Chevrolet tail, uh, Camaro taillights. So you got the Credit One card. Uh, uh, Credit One Bank card right there. Got Credit One Bank number 42, ZL1, Camaro, ZLE. You got nothing on the deck lid. I'm not sure if there's anything on the deck lid on Kyle on Kyle Larson's version of the car. I can't remember, but... Yeah, you got Kenseth from Atkins' name. Credit One. Got the number 42 number right there. And if you want to see the interior, you can. Got the batteries on the dash. You got some... Um, Got the steering wheel, the dash, you got like the roll bar, um, the roll cage, uh, you got the window nut right there, looks really cool. And of course, if you want to see the undercarriage of the car, you can see that. So, going back to Matt Kenseth 2020 season, his season wasn't, you know, wasn't, you know, that impressive like he joined at Darlington 2020 the spring race right after they returned from COVID and he got a top 10 right off the bat but unfortunately he didn't you know he wasn't consistent and he didn't make the chase he came close to a few super speedway wins like Daytona Talladega and not to mention he came close to winning Indianapolis but lost to Kevin Harvick that was his only top five that year a second place and that McDonald's car that he drove it was DMP'd in 164 but it got saved in NASCAR Fenix that car is pretty hard to find and of course, he had another car, the All Star McDonald's car. That one, that one was DMP too, but it was thankfully made of 124. So Matt Kenseth had had has had some 2023 cars get made. He hasn't got the Clover car. I'll show you the he had um, he ran this paint scheme, but it wasn't offered. I believe it's this car right here. He ran this paint scheme, but it wasn't you know offered by Lionel or made. But this is Ross Chastain's 2021 car. I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you that. The, the difference right here, um, as you can see, um, looks really nice. I miss Chip Ganassi Racing, I really do. They had some really awesome paint schemes. And that was like the first time in 2020 when Matt Kenseth was teammates with Kurt Busch in like 15 years because, you know, Kurt Busch left uh, um, Roush Fenway after 2005 where he got pulled over by a police officer and Matt Kenseth left after 2012 but came back briefly in 2018. So the main colors of this car are blue with some yellow with some white with some you know black to it. It looks really nice. Just really cool, man. I I'm I still can't believe Matt Kenseth returned. Like going back to Chip Ganassi's offer with Carl Edwards, he asked Carl Edwards, who was 41 at the time, to if he could come back, but re Edwards rejected the offer. So they got Matt Kenseth to come back, and Matt Kenseth has not been in a, a stock car since, or NASCAR stock car since. He's been in, you know, SRX, and he's still racing in his 50s now. He's 51. But just really cool that this die cast even got made. Like, I love this paint scheme. Just, and I miss this team. This team had some great paint schemes when it came to Credit One Bank, McDonald's, um, Clover, like I said, Sienna, uh, Sienna, I don't know how to say that word. Um, what other sponsors did they have? Target, they had some great Target paint schemes. Like this, this whole team, man. Yes, they weren't the best, but this team was at least could at least could you know com compete for wins. And you know, it was pretty much over for the team after Kyle Larson was you know 
suspended from NASCAR and was no, had no choice to fire him, Chip Ganassi. It, it sucks, but I'm just glad that that we got to iCast remember this team in spirit and we got something to remember from Matt Kenseth's 2020 season. This was his, that was the, this was the same car he ran at Darlington, so that's really cool. So just one give you one final look and man, look at that. That's beautiful. As you can see, one last time. I love the the black interior goes really well with this paint scheme. So yeah, that's all I got to say for this diecast review. Uh, thank you so much for watching it. Make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, comment down below if you have this diecast or not. Do you like it or not? Do you like this paint scheme like I do? So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.